Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Blackjack and Hookers campaign in Europe Universe House 4. So I just threatened to murder the Netherlands, and then the Netherlands just, you know, their, their leader just died. Of course. Ulm is now an elector. We're now trading in cocoa. We're trading in a number of things. I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, easiest way to see that is actually through the ledger. Do do country trade composition. No, it's goods location. Uh, strategic good trading bonus. You can see these are all the ones. We have lots of trading bonuses. Which ones are we missing? We could have chance for new air, yearly legitimacy and advisor reduction, development cost. We could definitely benefit from that. There's lots of lots of stuff in here that we're going to end up getting eventually. Market share, let's sort by that. And that way we can see, yeah. We're close to getting tropical wood, mercenary maintenance, land force limit, and naval force limit would be great. If we ever ended up getting the commonwealth, we would definitely have naval supplies. Be nice. Okay, come on, Siege. 70% of the time, it works every time. There we go. That's gonna knock out Morocco. Yet again. So we'll take all of his money and his war reps again. Because we're mean. And we need to march over here on Yao. Cheers with France is up. Oh, wow, that's that's tempting right there. So the only thing we want from you, Mali, is for you to just become our undying slave for all of eternity. I want you to become my protector. My protectorette. And then transfer all of your trade power to me. All of it. It's a bit of a concern that we uh, yet again have too many points. Uh, modern point generation is pretty good under, under Emperor Fernando. 633s, he's been doing a good, pretty, pretty good job. Our mighty siege is under. Our mighty, mighty fortress is under siege. There we go. Naples and Portugal are actually getting a fairly sizable troop down here now. He's engaging with a 10 stack on 27. It's a bit questionable. Gotta see, gotta love that they're wasting monarch points, moving armies around. Guess we'll go help. Or not. Let's go over here, I think, with this army. We'll let our vassals take care of the adjacent stuff. God, these missions are so bollocks. They're just such garbage. Non-stop, it's all it offers me. 68 war score. I mean, we have his capital, right? Yeah, it's right there. Ongoing battles. There can be no peace. Oh my gosh, after all this time, after nearly 200 years, the Ottomans are trying to subjugate... Trying to subjugate Serbia. That's a stack wipe opportunity right there. Depends on the morale. They did get 50% back from winning the battle, but... Could still happen. No, it looks like it's just gonna be a crush. Just, you know, just beat him up a bit. Alright, there we go. So, you become our protectorate. Sounds good. It's a lot of aggressive expansion, but it's only really down here, so... It doesn't really matter. Alright, you three armies are gonna march up to Tunis now. Or rather, he is. You two, I guess, are going to march over to here. We're going to immediately go in and divert trade on Mali. You know what? Be disloyal. I don't care. Trade income is 85. Let's see how that affects things. Immediately, we make six more ducats a month. That's pretty good. 
70 some ducats a year. In the future we'll want to probably give more lands, take more land from Yao, protectorate all of Africa. Alliance offer from the Commonwealth. Um, it's unfortunate, but no. We'll continue to improve relations with them because we don't want them to get upset with us, but the answer's no. I'm sorry. Just can't happen. I feel like mothballed ships should still repair up to 25. It should just be the resting point. More claims on France. Uh, we already have a guy working on France, okay. Um, Genoa is getting beaten up by a lot of a lot of guys right now. If we attack Montferrat, that'd be an easy war. He's losing his war for sure. So by all means, we should do that. But we have war exhaustion to bleed off, so let's hold off for now. Um, also, we don't really want to conquer land while we're trying to make this inheritance happen, because the overextension is affecting our chances of inheriting. Tuscany. Tuscany's got a lot of development, and they've got three cores on the Pope. So, I feel like if we could get it, it'd be worthwhile, but he's so young. And we'd be over the relationship limit by having done so. Mr. Pope, man, do you love me? The Papal State is now the Papal Controller. Considering how many thousands of ducats the game has given me from trade events, I'm not even upset about that. Let's build more trade companies. I mean, why not? These things, um, they produce more goods produced, right? Let's see. Let's see if we can find one where we've, where we've already built one. We've got a trade company here. Goods produced is... Still 1.53, so the autonomy is not affecting it. So we're getting the full benefit for goods produced. Which um, gives us more trade value, which we end up collecting in trade. Trade power is reduced, but we have got excellent trade power anyway. We get very little from the actual production, because we uh, have the local autonomy. But, yeah, I'd say it's maybe worthwhile. I don't know. I don't really care. I'm going to do it anyway. Gotta sink our money into something, right? And actually, they'd be better off here, but... I don't know that we've actually got any, any good buildings... ...available. We could be building them all over the place, we just don't have building slots. 30 development minimum to get to that 6th building slot. Huh. So you're saying we have a lot of development yet to do, huh? It's gonna take some work? Is that what I'm hearing? Well, we're looking like it's time to do it again. Can I get your loyalty up just a little bit more, please? Um, I suppose we could give you more land. You only have 2% of our territory. I'll temporarily give them a province. That's not enough. Wow, they want like a 20 development province, huh? I could give him Valencia. That's a really good province, though. I 
I mean... Yeah, sure. We'll do that. I mean, I think I think it's worthwhile to save 10% on every on every development that we do for for now. We're almost up to some new building slots. That buys us time. Okay. <laughs> Every single time we get that now, we're just getting like a free... a free building. And it's definitely time to attack a rival soon. Uh, we've lost... we only have one rival, so... I guess we could declare on the Ottomans. We would need to actually fabricate a claim on them somehow. We, we don't actually have any ability to fabricate on them, do we? Well, are they embargoing me? No, they're not. They're not even embargoing me, so I can't even... get like a trade war. Can I... F yeah, I can justify a trade conflict. Let's do that. I want to go to war with the Ottomans. I want to keep our power projection high. And this would be a good time to take the destroyed Turkish naval dominance mission. Spanish Nastavara. Tariff rate's at 30%. Their loyalty is at 2 The Liberty Desire is only at 2%. Can we actually go higher than 30 I was thinking 25 or 30 would be the threshold, but... Uh, maybe... Yeah, you know, I'm going to go... I think I'm willing to go up to maybe 40%. Let's keep going. More money. Give me more money. Look at this. We're starting to make some pretty good income off of our, our tariffs here. 20 ducats a month. It's coming up. Now we're making 71 total. I think we will actually just maintain a diplomat with a pope so that I don't have to worry about it. Keep our papal influence generation nice and high. Colonial company goes bankrupt. Satissa. It's only got 126 people. Eh, go ahead, just whatever. We'll pay for it. Maintain that one. I'm assuming Commonwealth is still set to special interest. If not, they need to be. Because if their heir dies, I want to know. <coughs> Colonial enthusiasm has expired. Shoot. I need to get that back. Algerian separatists, huh? T3, that's down here. Alright. Should unmothball this navy and um let's see how strong is the English and the Ottomans going to be on on the sea? The Ottomans have nine heavies. The English only have ten. If I use my light ships, I mean we've got two two times the Ottomans' total ships. Just use the light ships; we can beat them easy. I don't think we need to build more heavies, although I'd kind of like to. Mm, 
Okay. Maybe we want to protect the highlands and the highlands. We want this, uh, this navy. Yeah, we want to go to here. Hmm. I don't think I've ever heard of this guy. Who are you? Oh, you've Catholicized, huh? Whoa, was that a sizable English colony? English Australny. Yeah, they've actually formed a colonial nation here. And he's still Catholic, so does that mean that, yeah, Treaty of Tordesius? No, I'm not seeing a uh, a claim. Why do they not have a claim if they've got a colony there? Strange. Okay, so we declare war on the Ottomans to get our power protection back up. They're our only valid rival. All this land's going to be in coring distance, so I think we do the normal thing, which is to, like, cut them in half here. Just ruin all the land before them. It's like the, the best thing. If we can take that land, that's good. The power projection would be nice, too, from a Humiliate, but, um... I can't even really get a, a good CB against him, so... What we could do is we could just take a province, so that we can then claim land in the future. That would work. Probably. I still would really like to just inherit Portugal. It'll make things a lot easier. I think our trade income would skyrocket too. Because like right now, 60% is pulling forward. 40% of our wealth, 1845 ducats is being consumed by Portugal. Look at this. Portuguese income is 50 ducats a month, and add that all to ours, basically. And he's doing very little with it, I think. Oh, we have a colonist still. So, that colonial nation will form up soon. Alright, we have our, our CB. Bohemia won't even defend him right now, that's excellent. Austria... He's already at war with the Ottomans. Good. I forgot that Austria is my ally. Maybe we call in the Papal State. Um, I think we're going to take the time to gather up our navy. And we're going to get this war started. Mostly blockade ports, so I don't even think that we really need to worry too much about the, uh, the armies. <clears throat> and that is our entire navy. How well do the repairs look? Pretty much there. 1,800 ducats to upgrade 82 ships. We got a lot of old ships in the fleet. We actually could afford it. If we wanted to. Let's do this. But, before we go any farther, I'm going to take a break here. So, thank you for watching. As always, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. See you soon.